Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So um, I hope you are all doing well and um, in this video I am hoping to show you all the things I purchased in July. So um, these were things that, yeah, that I purchased in July including a couple of birthday gifts as well. So yeah, um, I'm going to move Kitty out of the way. She says hi and let's get started so the first thing is not particularly exciting but um, I'll show you anyway so these are some MNR sharpener replacement blades so these are for the wedge shaped sharpener that I have I've had this for quite a while now and I've got a spare one of these which I take on holiday and um, yeah I, re I highly recommend the MNR handheld wedge shaped sharpener i think it's absolutely brilliant i did purchase the you know the round one um quite a few years ago but i didn't i didn't really like that one for some reason um i just it just i couldn't use it it wasn't as easy to use as this one so yeah 10 um blades from amazon for quite a decent price i can't remember exactly how much it was but it was for quite a good price so yeah a necessity not particularly interesting but still a necessity so I also um, on was it prime day so this was quite some time ago I bought this notebook now initially I was going to do all my watercolour swatches again and I was going to do them in well on paper basically and put them in this file like you can see that I've done my watercolour pencil swatches are all in here and um, I like that they're in here and you know there's advantages of it um, I've got some gel pens and markers as well as some of my um, what they call gel crayons I haven't done them all yet some fine liners some alcohol markers and then I was going to do do them like this you know with stamping in the um, you know the the paint tubes and paint brushes and things and doing my swatch on those but realistically speaking I am not going to do that for all my metallic watercolours because I have so so many so I just thought I want a separate book for my metallic watercolours um, so I got this one and I put this sticker on top just to go with my coloured pencil swatches as well and um, yeah, I I saw um, Colouring F, I think, Francis, and, and she's got all her uh, watercolours in a, in a book like this. And I just, I just like the way it looked. And to be honest, when I'm choosing a colour, I'm more likely to go, to, you know, towards using a book like this. And I do have a lot of metallic watercolours. So I thought it would be quite, you know, nice to get a book. And it was a decent price, this and um, I just want to point out that I have done a few of them I have done a few swatches but I've still got so many to do and I've got to say the fine tech pearlescent colours are so shiny I hope the camera can pick these up but they are gorgeous colours absolutely brilliant I mean the Colero are really nice as well they're very very shiny but I think the fine tech ones um, that set have just got the edge I haven't even started to swatch all my um, Etsy watercolours yet. But yeah, that's another thing that I purchased. One of those notebooks. Um, we'll go on to books now because there's not many books. So I purchased the Mythographic uh, Colour and Discover Menagerie by Fabiana Atanasio. So this book is actually out on Amazon UK August the 23rd or something like that. But um, I managed to get, I think this is the American version, and I managed to get that on um, Blackwell's books online. Um, I think it's a um, bookshop in the UK, in Scotland, I think it is. But yeah, it's a lovely book. I do think it is more, um, it's definitely more simplified than her previous books, but it's still detailed enough for me to really like it. And um, there's some absolutely stunning pages in here, like that one. I really like that one. Um, 
and this one's cute I can I can imagine myself doing that one are these raccoons by the way please let me know um because they look like raccoons to me and um yeah I could I imagine myself doing this one in September October you know for Halloween because it just looks so cute but yeah I just love the fact that they don't have the um hidden objects just a cleaner image and that is stunning as well it's an absolutely beautiful book and um even though this isn't in my August colouring bag you know I might even colour in it because I'm feeling that way inclined so that's menagerie um the next one I got was Gabby Wolf's Houses 3 now I just got this because I love her work um I still prefer the book too I think because I think that is um I just love some of the pictures in there but these are all beautiful as well I really need to get a page done in here I think this is in my August colouring bag so I'm going to try to make myself use alcohol markers because I have alcohol markers and I barely use them and really I need to and then the other one the last one is Kingdom of Curious Creatures um, there is a flip of this in my book but this is the English version of Kanuka's Igusa's um, original book um, which I think you can get in um, the other languages which I'm not sure I think it's Japanese or Korean but yeah a beautiful book I mean polychromous work beautifully in this book it's just a pleasure using using them I just enjoyed using my polys in here I'm quick you just had the quick peek there of my completed picture um, which took absolutely ages and I'm so pleased with it you will see it hopefully in the end of August complete pages but that's one of the pages I'm very I'm very um, pleased with you know proud of myself how I completed it okay next lot of stuff um, so I got the Artex pencils colouring pencils so I had seen these on a few channels and um, they looked really interesting and the reviews said such nice things about them and I was just intrigued but I have taken my pencils out of here because I just it was just too much of a faff for me to use that so what I did is I put my pencils in and I also bought this case as well so I bought this lovely um it's not a real leather case but it's um is it fox leather or something like that I don't know but I really like this case and black is one of my favorite colors so yeah I put them in here this is one of my travel cases as well so I put my Artex pencils in here the 72 and then there's my Artezas in there as well but yeah I really like some of the colours um, let's see if I can show you if I can find my swatch book that might help right so let's show you a swatch of the colours so here we go so um, you do have a silver and a gold and then you've got some your standard colours there and here so it's a 72 set um, I do I think it I think the colours are really pigmented um, really nice and um, I think they may be releasing a bigger set later this year I hope so um, I really like this cloud blue I mean some of the names are similar to are, are same as not similar but same as um, the prisma colors so like ginger root like peach palmer violet um, but yeah they are really nice pencils I really like them so that's the pencils and that's the case the case is um I think it's a 200 case I think it is um, so that's that one what else so cult pens i purchased some posca paint markers now i these are the pastel ones and they were a decent price um but i haven't swatched them so i'll just show you um a quick swatch now these are pc 1m 
I used to purchase, in fact, I have got some of the PC1MR which I bought many years ago. But I prefer the PC1M because the PC1MR with the sort of metal clad nib, they do seem to get a little bit clogged at times. Not often, not often, I've got to say. But I don't know, I just find these... Um, I find these small enough, fine enough to get into really small spaces, but then also not too small, whereas the PC1MR is really, really fine, finer than this one. But yeah, these are the colours, because I haven't swatched them out, I just thought I'd quickly show you, there's not that many. And I got these because they were a good price on Colt pens, so... I thought why not um, and I like the fact that of course you can just layer on top can't you and things so I need to use these more in my colouring books I got them for um, you know using on um, that's just a white as well which will always prove useful um, I got them for using in my art journal as well because I think they're really nice markers to use in there. So yeah, put them all back. I really need to make an inventory of all my art stuff. Um, but I don't know when I'll get around to that. So yeah, those are the colours. Um, the pastel Poscas, I think they're look really nice so I've got them from Colt pens what else did I get from Colt pens in fact I need my paper again here just to show you I bought these come out a little bit Stabilo uh, woody three in ones now these are um, basically the pastel colors only and it comes with the sharpener which is in there which is huge and they are really really nice these they are really lovely to use um, I did watch a review, I think it was um, Lindsay the Frugal Crafter, and she suggested that they are quite similar to the Neo Colours, which they are. Um, and she recommended that, you know, you can smudge these as well. She recommended that um, if you've got the Neo Colours to just buy the pastel set. But I really like these, I love the handle. Um, and she actually opened one up to show that you don't actually get that much crayon inside so that's a little bit disappointing but I still really like these so I'm, I might get the the other colours and they're really really good for um, backgrounds I guess on colouring books but also I would say um, mainly I got them for art journaling I really need to make some art journal pictures but I'm just so fussy and what he, what what I hesitate with is I, I think that um, I won't be pleased with what I produce but I should just have fun with it. Anyway, those were the Stabilo Woody 3-in-1 pastel colours. I thought I'd got the small set to try them out. Um, what else? So, from Colt Pens, sticking with them. I got out a little bit I bought some pencils so I bought some um, just some spare Derwent light fast so yeah I've got a few colors here now I got these because Derwent light fast are um, one of my favorite pencils they're just absolutely gorgeous um, that's not light fast that's something else kind of dash so I think there was a little bit of money off the Derwent Light Fast, so I purchased those. So I got my most used colours, you know, the colours that I use the most. So I got some replacements of those. I also got three Posca pencils, which I use a lot. Um, these brown shades, basically. It's a brown blend. So I got those um, as well, and then I got some Caran d'Ache. I think there was some money off these as well. 
so um, this is a dark phyllo hang on dark phyllo cyanine green cyanine green dark sap green um, a Prussian blue and a Indanth Indanthrone blue so dark colours because I think in the um, luminance you get some really nice dark shades um, as well as in the Derwent Light Fast so yeah some spare pencils um, so I do use them a lot and so I thought why not while they're on sale the next thing from there I got this free I think because I got the Derwent Light Fast pencils so this is um, yeah just a couple of testers I think for Derwent ink tents because I haven't got the paint palettes so I haven't managed to test them out yet either but anyway and then some glaze pen replacements a Derwent blender my favourite blender and yeah just a few of these you know essential black um, black jelly roll glaze pen definitely one of my favourites to use and then some other colours so yeah th those were things that I got from cult pens right what else um, I went to the range but didn't get anything apart from a 0.2 um uni fine liner that's all that's all i found really didn't find anything else and then what else did i get um from buddley crafts i purchased these as a birthday present to myself so these are the distress crayons the um the sort of the gold silver set sure there'll be a knit yes yeah, metallics um i got these and then i got the um pearlescent distress crayons this one's called what is it called it's just called pearlescent pigments but i know that they're the halloween set one and two they are called the halloween set one and two i can't seem to find it on the packaging though the word halloween there is a christmas set as well but I wanted these colours, so I, I like these better, so I just got these. But they are really, really nice. I'll just show you. Um, so the way I will use these, and I've already used them on a page in, in on a background, in a Hannah Carlton book, so if you look at my July pages, they're beautifully pearlescent. But the way I use these is like how I use the other Distress Crayons and Gel Crayons. I put them on my um, palette, which... Uh, I can't see at the moment where it is but anyway I put it on my um, palette and then use one of these you know these brushes to take them off the palette and then to work them into the paper that's how I usually use them um, of course with um, art journaling on gesso you can just apply them directly onto the gesso and they will blend beautifully um, I mean you can you can um, smudge them like that but they don't blend as well as if you put them on say gesso um, but anyway yeah so I got those for backgrounds but there's always a way to use them and the way that I use them is to put them on in fact I just found it here it is look so yeah I just use my Caran d'Ache board so shall I just quickly show you I might as well show you I know some of you have seen this already so if you get if you sorry for repeating but I just have a quick little show whoops dropping everything so then I put it on the palette I take it off with the brush and then I just work it into the paper and uh, yeah you get a lovely um, shimmer and that's basically how I use it how I use these on colouring book backgrounds um, but yeah I wanted the metallics and the pearlescents so I treated myself to that as a birthday present to myself so that is those and then I also purchased uh, so these were from Budley Crafts um, stickles I think these are three new stickles um, there's garden 
garden, garden something, stale, looks like stale anyway, garden something and salt water and Pacific Coast. Now I haven't, um, I should have brought you in when I did the other thing but sorry for not. Um, that's that one lovely blue colour I think that is to match the um, possibly to match the new distress colours that come out and then this one's the garden state garden state or garden something or another anyway let's put that one there see what that looks like and that's a lovely colour as well and then the last one is salt water bring you in even closer as you can see that it's more of a turquoisey aqua color this one salt water so yeah so the top one is salt water the middle one is the garden state or stale or something like that and then the last one is pacific coast so yeah they were again purchased from um, purchased from Budley Crafts and uh, there you can see the pearlescent distress crayons a couple of them there and then how I apply them so that's that in fact let me see I can if I can show you a page where I used the pearlescent distress crayons which was like I said it was in the July pictures now I won't be able to find it. It was uh, definitely in one of Hannah Carlson's new books. Why not? It was in the newest one. Let me show you. Let me show you. Yeah, there we go. Let's just bring you all so you can actually see it. So yeah, uh, here's a page where I used the distress pearlescent crayon. So all of this, this background here not the border but just the background the purple then these orange and green blobs um, they're all with the pearlescent distress crayons so hopefully you can see the shimmer you get less of a shimmer than when you place the actual crayon on the paper itself but you can still see a shimmer um, but yeah it sometimes helps when you're looking at mediums to see them what they look like on an actual colouring page um, so I thought I might as well show you um, so yeah that's those um, and now that back on my bookshelf okay so the next thing were these pencils um, creator colour um, Brevilliers I think create, creator colour um, made in Austria these are the mega coloured pencils and I'd seen these for a while and um, I don't know, I just have the urge to try them. I've heard good things about them. As you can see, I've been using them a lot. Um, and I used them on a RJ Hampson's B background on my one of my July pages. And I blended it with um, the Derwent Blender pen. And um, I used these colours. In fact, let me see if I can find that book and show you. Okay, so here we are. So basically... This background has been done with these, um, I think these few pencils here, these blues. Yeah, I think I use these blues here. So um, this whole background was done with the Creator Colour pencils and it, it did take a while, not too long, but it did take a while. Um, and then I smoothed it out using the Derwent um the Derwent blender pen which I am absolutely really enjoying using at the moment that uh, is really good so yeah I thought I'd show you that as well just so that you can see what it looks like but these are absolutely beautiful pencils they are um, one two three four five hexagonal shaped they've got colors um, light blue they are really sturdy you can I mean I use this um, swordfish triple sharpener and I use the biggest um, slot there to sharpen them um, do they fit in my they also yeah they do they fit in my I'm just trying it in 
and they do fit in the doll 133 because I just tried it um, and yeah they're, they're lovely soft pencils they're really good to cover large areas so again I'd say they're really good for backgrounds and also show you a swatch of them they're here very colorful vivid I think this is the largest set that you can get um, but yeah I really like them and I, I will use them for uh, you know large backgrounds and things obviously because they've got a larger uh, lead a larger width they they're not massively great for really tiny areas but if you've got a large background area you can cover it quickly so yeah great color pencils really nice pencils do recommend them but um only to supplement you know other colored pencils i wouldn't say that they're great on just on their own okay next are um these signo super um super what they're called they're just these sparkly gel pens really but i found these on amazon uk i do have some of these already but these were just like a little bit of a replacement why because they were at a really good price and because they are at a really good price i mean they are so sparkly let me just show you this time let's get in a bit closer so they are stunningly sparkly they're so sparkly and gorgeous um, but yeah that's the red I'll show you a couple more colours I mean the silver I can't seem to get You know, this is my most favourite silver sparkly pen can't seem to get it um, quite hard to get at the moment so I thought I need one of those anyway so I bought that and let's just do a blue but these are ultra sparkly pens I really like the uniball pens I think they are beautiful and just one more let's do a green but yeah I got them for a really good price so I thought they are worth they're worth getting so yeah those are the um, uniball super sparkly gel pens which I haven't put away properly Okay, so that's that and then finally we have some birthday presents which were all metallic paints I mean I chose these but these were um, my husband got me these so we've got the CSY art gallery paints so these were on Amazon and I wanted to try them out and they are really nice um, definitely really nice budget paints to get and also um, a good alternative to the Etsy paints now I don't think they're as shiny as say your Etsy paints but you know they definitely give them a good run for their money I definitely say they are um, they you know they, they are really nice they are really nice that's a small palette so it's the green shared one and this is absolutely one of my favorites green gold um, and then on here this is the 12 yeah 12 set here I've got these two the wrong way around um, and yeah the beautiful paints so if I mean the prices are really high on Etsy if you want to try some really good quality metallic paints I would highly recommend the CSY uh, art gallery paints that you can get on Amazon I think they do have a 5% voucher or yeah five percent the last time i checked so that's that one so those are those metallic paints like i haven't got enough metallic paints i really needed more not and then i also decided to get this magic fly metallic paint watercolor palette i don't know why but you know how i'm addicted to metallic watercolors so yeah these are again really nice paints so that's the swatch on white paper so if you want a lot more colors um 
then I would go for this one. I mean, I think these are really nice as well. Really nice colours. That's on black. So really shiny. And that's it. So that's all my haul. Um, I don't think there's anything else. But yeah, that was my July haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, take care. Happy colouring. Bye.